Hi, this is Dan from Online Bass Courses. Hope you're doing really well today. Now, this is the fourth bass line I'm doing in a little mini series on how to write bass lines. So the first one I did, the first video was pop and reggae, all in the same key, and actually those two were in the same uh, tempo as well. Then I moved on to rock, and now this is hip hop today. So make sure you subscribe to catch all those other ones and all the new lessons I'm doing on all kinds of different bass things. But I've got three more, I think, after this one. But today is hip hop, so I'm just gonna set off a drum beat that I've got behind me going on Logic. And all of these drum beats you can download yourself and they're five minutes each, so you've got loads of time to just practice playing the little, little mini lessons I'm gonna teach you. So I'm just gonna hit that, play a little bit and tell you what I'm doing. So one of the things I am saying in all of these videos really is to listen to as much music as you can within the genre. That's how you're going to learn how to play these things. You're going to learn how to play by ear, play different bass lines. The analysis can come later and I'm kind of going to show you um, an example of how you might do that. But there is really no hip hop without funk music and that's why hip hop's such a great genre for us bass players because the bass lines are just so cool. So, you know, one of the things I notice, I've got this hip hop drum beat here, you can download that, play along to it. There are elements of, of swing. So in this one, we've got one, two, three, four. It's around about that speed. And the 16th notes are swung. So that's the first thing you, you notice is that often there is this element of swing, so you have to lock into that. Now, I mentioned in another video that a real good trick when you're playing bass lines, not tricks, just something that works to glue everything together, you as part of the rhythm section with the drums, is to lock into what that kick drum's doing. So when I was just playing this, and what I've done is I've written a chord progression there, but in terms of actually what I'm playing, I really just threw that together just now and I can improvise around it. So I'm not really thinking too much about the notes, but all the bass lines in this series, to keep it simple, what I've decided to do is just keep it in one key. So it's in the key of G major, or it's relative minor of E natural minor. I've got another video to explain that for you if you don't understand that. But for this hip hop thing, what I was doing was, was E natural minor. So all the notes that I was playing, It's important to know any scale in, in multiple locations. I'll show you what I was playing, if I can remember it, because I was sort of making it up, but I think I can remember it. I was playing something down this end of the bass and then something here. So I was, the note selection was, was simple. It was just from that E natural minor scale. So that's E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. I was playing the A on the fifth fret of the E string. There's the same scale starting on the seventh fret of the A string. So I've got those notes. I've got this drum beat here, that kick drum pattern. So the little da da that was catching this, this sort of swing pattern that that bass drum was doing. It's E to G. And then you've got A, G, F sharp, E. Just a little melodic hook. You hear that a lot in the hip hop bass lines. Um, when you think about funk, and there is a funk bass line coming up, so as I said, subscribe so you get the knowledge exactly when that's coming. But the thing about hip hop that you notice is that the bass lines are relatively simple. They're, they're played almost, you know, like a sample, so like a loop. So it's just going round and round. There's not too much embellishment going on. Of course you can do that, there, there are really no rules. But I was just sticking to that. I only went round it twice in the example that I gave you before, but you know, you may play that just over and over again. And then I did. So yeah, that was moving on to the sort of higher part of the bass here. So I'm on frets seven, nine, and 10. Be your E, F sharp, G. And I started on the F sharp, went to G. So F sharp, G, E, F sharp, D, E. E, and I was that's frets nine to ten, seven to nine, five to seven. The point of this video and the others that I'm doing in this series is to give you ideas because 
think about how many combinations of <laughs> combinations of notes that there are within that scale and within you know the bass fretboard. You need to know not just the notes down here. You need to unlock the whole thing, and if you do that, the combinations of what you can play is just are just endless. So I just want to give you a few ideas. So I was just doing something melodic. If you if you play consecutive notes in scales. and don't play them like scales. So what I did there, a little slide. If you add some articulations, you know, slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, bends, all that kind of thing, it brings these rather stale scale notes to life, okay? And that's what you want to do. You want to add some flair. You always need to be in the groove. You always need to be playing in time. Uh, playing to drum, Beats is a good way of doing that, so that's why I've given you, you'll have seven eventually in the series to, to play to. So that's a really good thing to do. But just keep things simple. Always remember, in this example anyway, you've got that swing 16th. And it's just keeping things locked in. When it comes to hip hop, keep it simple just think think in terms of a loop you know many producers do that they'll get a loop so maybe a two bar or a four bar bass line and that's it that's stuck in there so you've got to think a bit more like well like a producer number one and and then turning yourself into a machine so you're playing the same thing all the way through and that's one of the great disciplines of hip hop bass lines so I hope you got something from that. The next three are going to be a 12-8, a funk, and a jazz bass. I'm going to show you how to how to write something around that. So be sure to subscribe. If you fancy a weekly bass newsletter that I have over at my website, I'll put a link below there as well. But I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next video.